Hey everyone, the Netwerkberg here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll be covering how to import a CSR1000V into EVENG. It's a great production router and you'll be able to do a ton of different topologies and labbing uh, scenarios with this router. Uh, before we jump into the video, I'd just kindly like to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you do find any value in the content, please like and share this with your friends. Thanks, let's get into the video. All right, so in order to import a Cisco CSR1000V, the first thing that we need that is essential is the software image. So this is something you'll pull directly off of Cisco's website. You can go onto their software web page. And from here, if you have a service license, you will be able to download the ISO image for your router of choice. So this would be this image in the example. I've got a different image that I have in my image files that I'm going to use, but you need to get a hold of the image file because you need to install the software in EVNG. So in order to install the software, you'll have to copy it across using an SFTP client. You can use FileZilla or WinSCP. In my example, I will be using WinSCP. So I'm just going to open it up so long. Uh, but before I climb onto the EVE, on SFTP, I just quickly want to get on the command line as well. .246.200 is my EVE box. So the first thing we want to do is just create a temporary directory for the ISO image. So I'm just going to make dir and we can create ABC. It's similar uh, on the how to instructions that Uldis does. So now that we've got the directory, we can connect on SFTP. So I'm just quickly connecting with my credentials and there's the folder that I created. So from this folder, I will now go into my images that I have and I'll find the CSR image and I'll just bring this across into Eve. It'll copy relatively quick. Once the copy is finished, we'll continue with the installation. All right, great. Now that the image is copied across, we can go back into EVNG. You can change the directory to ABC and inside the directory we're quickly going to create a drive on which we will be installing the ISO so you can just run this command I will add it in the description it's basically just an 8 gig drive and now that the drive has been added we need to also run another command and this command just basically tells the server where the image is and that it needs to be installed on this disk etc important thing to change on this um, config is the iso name so your name might be something completely different um, to what mine is i just quickly want to verify what mine is ls minus la so we can just make sure that the ISO images match because if this doesn't match it will not do the setup and you can hit enter once you hit enter you need to quickly make sure that you press the any key and also you just quickly want to scroll down as well to the third option if you're not quick it can auto install or it can hang so just make sure you are quick with that you're going to go to the third option which is serial and you're going to hit enter this will now install the ISO image onto the disk that we specified. It's going to take a little bit of time, uh, but it, it shouldn't be too long. I'm just going to pause the video up until the point where it's going to try and boot from the drive again. All right, the setup's almost complete. And once we get prompted to press the any key again, we need to be quick with pressing that. So we're just waiting for it to boot from the drive again, and then we'll hit the any key. But when we hit the any key, we're not going to select anything. We're just pressing this to get back into this setup menu. We'll scroll to the serial console option again, but do not hit enter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be pressing control and then A. And then once we've released that, you, you release it and you press C. It's going to bring you to grub. Do it again. Control A, release, press C. 
All right, so we are in Kimu now, so we can type quit. Now that we have quit, we are able to copy our ISO. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first create a directory for the ISO. So let's just get that name again. So we're gonna make a directory in OPT unit labs add-ons Kimu. And the important bit is CSR 1000 V and then dash because that is what um, Eve will be looking at whenever it's trying to pull the image. The rest of this is just a name really. So I just want to keep it consistent. So I'll make that the rest of the name. And then we need to copy our virtual QCOW file to this directory. So we're gonna move the virtual to this directory now done okay that's perfect so we have actually set up the image inside eve now um, only things that we can do is quickly clean up so this abc directory we can get out of it we can actually remove that abc directory and then we just need to fix the permissions once that's fixed we can proceed into eve so once we are inside eve if i right click and i go to the nodes i should have a cisco csr 1000v i can click on this i can add one or two or four or how many routers so let's add two make it eight ethernet ports and let's save once that's saved i will just select both routers and I'm going to start them. I'm gonna pause the video until the routers are started up. All right, so both routers did boot up. It took about 10 to 15 minutes for the routers to boot, but now that they're up and running, I can use them as any production router, which is extremely cool. So that is gonna be a wrap for the video. If you do enjoy the content, again, please consider liking and resharing it. And thanks again for watching.